welcome to another PlayStation 4 tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to thoroughly clean a PlayStation 4 controller the easy way. I'm going to cover everything from cleaning the ports to general cleaning. I'll also show you how to clean the buttons and thumbsticks, which in some cases can even fix sticky buttons. As a bonus, let's see if we can do something to patch up this old worn thumbstick. All of this without disassembling the controller. This tutorial is broken down into four parts. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. If your controller looks like this, I highly recommend you use a microfiber towel, since they are excellent at trapping dirt and will reduce the risk of scratching the glossy parts. Otherwise, you can use a soft cloth or lens-free paper towel. Whatever you end up using, damp it with a little bit of water or rubbing alcohol, and give all the surfaces a good wipe down. Make sure to change your towel to a clean side as it gets dirty. That's some nasty stuff, right? Before anyone asks, I bought this controller in poor condition so I can make this and future tutorials and mods, so any scuffs and scratches you see already came with the controller. Alright, so it looks much better now than before with just a wipe down, but as the old saying goes, the devil's in the details, and that's exactly what we're going to tackle next. Ever wonder why the thumbsticks or buttons stick? It's because people forget to clean them. All you need for this part is rubbing alcohol, and make sure it's as close to 100% as possible, and a few cotton swabs. Alright, so take a cotton swab and dip it into the rubbing alcohol, then squish it down with your fingers so it's flat and stick it in between the buttons and gaps and clean all the way around. Do this for all the buttons, including the D-pad. Don't worry if some of the rubbing alcohol gets stuck inside the button gaps, it will eventually evaporate by itself. If you're having a hard time cleaning the button gaps, that's okay. Just clean the button surfaces and wipe them down with a clean cloth or towel. To clean the thumbsticks, take a cotton swab and dip it in the rubbing alcohol. Scrub all the way around the rubber top and the base. As you're cleaning the thumbstick base, move the thumbstick around to expose more of the base for a complete clean. To clean the trigger buttons, take a toothpick and scrape inside the gaps. This will help loosen any dirt inside. Next, dip a cotton swab in rubbing alcohol and clean all the way around the gaps and face of the trigger buttons. Moving on to the touchpad, you can see how much dust and dirt gets stuck inside the gaps. To clean this, take a toothpick and scrape all the way around the touchpad. This is going to lift up a lot of that nasty stuff that's trapped in there. But that's okay, just wipe it down with a clean cloth or towel. Once you're done scraping, dip a cotton swab into rubbing alcohol and clean the edges of the touchpad to pick up the remaining dirt. While we're here, Use the cotton swab to just scrub down the Options, Share, and PlayStation button. To clean the gap where both pieces of the controller meet, all you have to do is take a toothpick and scrape all the way around the gap. This one doesn't really have any nasty brown crusty stuff that tends to form along the gap, but if yours does, this will definitely remove it. To clean the speaker grill, take a toothpick and gently stick it in and out of each hole. For best results, twist the toothpick as you're going in and out of the holes. Moving on to the controller ports, let's start off with the headphone jack. Dip a cotton swab into rubbing alcohol and twist it in. Don't force it, just apply a very light amount of pressure. For the EXT port, take a cotton swab and squish it flat with your fingers, then scrub inside the EXT port. The process for cleaning the micro USB ports is exactly the same as cleaning the EXT port. Again, don't worry if rubbing alcohol gets left behind, it will eventually evaporate by itself. The rubber on the thumbsticks tend to wear badly. The best fix for this is to cover or replace the rubber, but for now, let's just do a quick and easy patch. Take a toothpick and place a small amount of super glue on the tip. Then carefully spread the glue inside the torn part of the rubber and press it down for a few moments until the glue dries. To finish up this tutorial, take a microfiber or lint-free towel or cloth and damp it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and give the surface one last good wipe down. The rubbing alcohol will give you a streak-free and water spot-free finish. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you out. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future videos. And until next time, this has been GTR Bytes.